Good morning. Uh, this is Grace King from Kalamazoo Bach Festival, and today I will be talking to Kathy Osman. Good morning, Kathy. How are you? Good morning. Pretty good this morning. <laughs> Excellent. So tell us a little about yourself. When, when did you first start singing with the Kalamazoo Bach Festival? Gosh, I don't know. Uh, we moved to Kalamazoo area in 2010. Mm -hmm. I think it was a couple of years before we started because uh, we were going uh, to California for winters for a couple of ah, years. Ah, yes. About 2012, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what was your first impression of the Kalamazoo Bach Festival when you first started singing? What did you think of it? Well, we, we checked it out before we joined. We came to mm -hmm. a couple of concerts and we were pretty impressed. Yeah. Uh, we, we've done a lot of choral singing, my husband and I uh, both. And, uh, and, and we liked the sound of the group and we liked the... Mm -hmm. I liked the, um, the the repertoire that we that we saw, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, and we knew uh, at least one person who sang with the group, and so we talked to yeah. them about what the experience was like, and we we figured that was the the group in this area that yeah. we were interested in. That's wonderful. And what so speaking of repertoire, what's one of your favorite pieces that you've sung with us so far? Oh gosh. Uh, maybe give us a couple. You know, I think I think the Ukrainian piece we <laughs> <laughs> Joe said the same thing. Your husband Joe told me the same thing. He loved the Ukrainian piece. Yeah. It was so challenging and, and I like challenging music. Yes. I I don't like it to be easy. I liked I like it to to, to, to make me work hard <laughs> and to learn something new. And but the experience of that. Mm -hmm. And singing it for a Ukrainian audience and learning about that history was yeah. so moving. Uh, and, the, and the music was really interesting. Oh, and, it was and gorgeous. And beautiful. Yes. Uh, I really, I really enjoyed that. It was a tough concert. I mean, it was, yeah, that it, and Belshazzar's Feast, isn't that we did? Oh. oh. Yeah, doing those together was really <laughs> hard. Really hard. It was, yeah. But, uh, but, I, but I loved it. Uh, mm -hmm. It was probably the most I could ch you know, chew in one concert. <laughs> it, it was a lot. You really had to be on your game and yeah. be ready and prepared and awake and just focused. Because I realized with the Ukrainian piece, if you're not, you know, if we didn't learn it well enough and then get up there and try and sing it and perform it, you're just, it's just not going to work. Especially in a language we haven't sung it. It's a very right. challenging piece. For an audience that knows the language. <laughs> Right, that was the thing. We wanted to make sure we were doing it justice by pronouncing the words correctly and phrases and getting the meaning behind the music uh, to work, you know, to the audience and making sure they could feel that and understand it. And yeah, it was it was pretty powerful. Yeah, I enjoy doing Carmina Verona too. I'd done that before. Yeah. Uh, it was it was a it was a really um, well done performance. I loved it. the soloists were really good, and I thought we performed well. It was fun. I, there's yeah. been a lot of pieces that I find that I've really enjoyed. I, not the Ukrainian piece does stick out, but I also have other like just, it's not even the piece, but it's like the moment we're singing. And all of a sudden I feel like, oh my God, this is so perfect right now. The sound is perfect. Just the ambiance, the it's quiet in the audience and you can just hear everybody just really focused on that one chord or whatever. Oh, I just love when that happens. It gets me so excited. I know. You know, and I'm thinking about, I mean, those are big works. That, mm -hmm. that, yeah. So many of this, the, the little songs, the shorter songs that are, yes. and, and of course, the ones I love are the ones where the altos get to shine. Yeah, of course. Winter and, solstice, like we sang that one month. That's that, <laughs> I loved singing that because it sat right in my comfort range and it was such a beautiful melody. Yes. And people that I knew who came to the concert really loved that one too. It was such a beautiful melody and a, and a different kind of text. Yeah. And mm. it's a, it's a song that anyone can sing and there's no, there's no like religious connotation behind it. It's just about winter and how beautiful it is and so pretty, so pretty. I, that was one of my favorites. I yeah. really love that piece. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, well, this was a, this was a special group, but the, 
unicorn one. What was the name of that one? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, yes. I know we keep calling it the unicorn one, but I can't think of the name of it. I have to look it up. Unicorn is something or other. At yeah. really low second alto part, it was like I could really shine because yeah. I low notes. I think you are, you're an alto too, correct? Right? Yeah. And yeah, my yeah. voice, especially as I've gotten older, is like way, way low. And I really rock on those low parts. That's, isn't that fun when you can do it? You're like, wow, I couldn't do this early before. And it's nice to be able to get to those super low notes as a woman, you know? Yeah. Show it. Yeah, we can hit low notes too. <laughs> so what, what would be, what is something you'd like to tell others that are watching this video that, uh, what, what, I guess, why do you sing? Let me ask you that question. What is, when did you start singing? Why do you sing? What is all, why do you do it? Um, I, singing for me is at the core of who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm, when I say this, I'm warning you, I'm already cheering up. <laughs> um, I grew up in a musical family. My mom and dad met in church choir. Um, they sang in choirs all their lives. My first choral experience was as a five-year-old in the cherub choir in the church. Aww, first cute. choir I could get into. When am I going to get to sing, mommy? Yeah. Um, and uh, and I, well, this is a bit of an exaggeration, but pretty close. I've been in at least one choir ever since my entire life. There have been a few short gaps, but not very long. Right. Uh, I was a music ed major at Michigan State. Mm -hmm. I taught music, well, uh, directed church choirs for longer, mm -hmm. uh, been involved in music in many different ways uh, all my life. And, and then when you met Joe, were you both singing at the time? Um, <laughs> it's funny. We were in a co-ed dorm at Michigan State. Yeah. And, um, and once when we were friends first, and uh, he was taking a singing class. Uh, oh. wanted to audition for one of the choirs he wasn't mm -hmm. and he knew that I was and he asked me to help him with one of his songs for his music class so that's one of the ways we started spending time together and got to know each other that's so, sweet that's kind of cool music brought you together see it's it's universal good <laughs> that's fantastic we've sung in choirs together uh ever since you know. oh that's so sweet <laughs> oh my gosh. i wish my husband could sing he can't carry a tune unfortunately but that's okay we have other things in common that's wonderful that you can share that together it's a huge huge thing to share it is and so what is it about what would you suggest to people who are thinking of singing getting out there to sing like what what should they do if they wanted to be part of the kalamazoo Bach festival well they should Sign up for an audition. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very simple. I, you know, they need to know a little bit about music and have yeah. some some singing experience. Mm -hmm. but, um, uh, it's, it's open and it's open to all sorts of people, all exactly. ages. Exactly. Yes. And uh, and and different levels of music ability. We are, we aren't soloists right right you know? and that's that's the key we're not soloists we are a group it is a team right. effort yeah. right and we work together on learning the music and there mm -hmm. are sorts of aids um great aids I mean, that's one thing i love about our current conductor and staff including you oh, um, thank you you're sweet <laughs> provide all kinds of aids in this electronic um to learn your parts and uh, and help from each other. And it's a very supportive group um, mm -hmm. and we learn together. And, uh, and part of the joy is the uh, community of the group to know right. each other and, and yeah. experiencing the music, uh, both the performance and the learning process. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. challenging now too with what's happening and people aren't really we can't get together and sing and that's the best part about it is being a community of people where we get to gather and enjoy something we all love so trying to do our having these online performances is it's not it's not the same but we're still trying and we want to make music and get it out there to everyone 
Do you have any other, any other thoughts about the Kalamazoo Bach Festival you'd like to share? I love uh, two things about the music, the choices. Mm -hmm. uh, one is we do a wide variety of music from lots of different cultures. Which I really appreciate. And the second thing I really appreciate is that we take into consideration in our concerts of music, uh, social justice issues in our culture. Yes. And and we try to address those not just in the music, but in the way we function as a group. And that's important to me. Mm -hmm. Because I want my music to help the world I live in. That's beautiful. Thank you. That's so sweet. I love it. Perfect. Uh, Kathy, thank you so much for taking the time this morning to talk with me. And uh, hopefully everybody who watches this will see how much you enjoy it, how much you love it, and how we'd like to spread the word about our organization and about just in general about how much we love music and performing it. So I, I wish you well. I look forward to seeing you again in person. It'd be great to see you sometime, <laughs> hopefully soon. And We're going to be such a hugging group when we get together. Oh so glad to see each other. <laughs> so much hugging. So much, yes. Have a fantab fantabulous, fantabulous, why not? Fantabulous day and take care and send my love to Joe. Okay, thanks. You thanks. too. Have a great day. Bye. Good to talk with you. Bye -bye. You too. Thank you. Bye.